Hi, so I'm going to go through step by step how to create a resource manager VM and also the configuration that's involved in accessing the remote desktop and also accessing the remote desktop via a DNS name. So I'm going to click add here for a new virtual machine and I'm going to go with Windows Server and I am going to choose technical preview here and I'm going to choose resource manager here and not classic click on create and I am going to name my VM Firestar as well as putting this under the resource group that I typically put it under for my other availability groups. I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to choose a size. I'm going to choose the standard size here. Click OK, and now it's going to start creating it. Now, I do have to create a um, network security group and I'm just gonna leave these as default but I'll have to configure it later on and you'll see this is a public IP address and it says create new I'm gonna gonna leave that alone I have these security groups here I could assign it an existing one but what I'm gonna do is create a new one from scratch and my availability set now this, I'm actually going to assign it to an availability set that I have existing because I want to load balance this. And I want to load balance it along with the other VMs within that group. So I'm going to click OK here. And it's going to look for confirmation and I'm gonna click OK and now my VM is gonna be created and it's gonna take about five minutes so I'm gonna pause here and come back now I'm gonna to go to the virtual machines which are the non-classic resource manager virtual machines and I've created this Firestar VM I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna to go to network interfaces I'm going to click on the network interface here and I'm going to go to network security group and I am going to confirm click on Firestar network security group and I am going to confirm the inbound security rules you'll notice here it allows port 3389 which is exactly what I want now I'm going to go click on this public IP address and I'm going to click on configuration and I'm going to create the DS, DNS name Firestar here and my fully qualified name is firestar.centralus cloudapp.azure now previously in the classic VMs it would be firestar.cloudapp.net but now it's all under the azure.com and the subdomain of the location here so I'm going to click save and hopefully it saved it now if I go under if I go backwards here and refresh just to double check go under IP addresses you'll see I should be able to access it under Firestore now I'm gonna copy that and 
and there you go. Now I can remote desktop into the virtual machine. And that's really it. Uh, thank you for watching. And look for my other videos on how to create this in a load balanced set. And um, you, you could check it out in my channel. And thank you for watching.